Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. I was browsing around my local mall recently and of course I had to go into Hot Topic and as you can tell, I bought a few things. It's always just a bad idea for me to go anywhere near Hot Topic or Spencer's because when I'm in there, I just wanna buy everything. <laughs> I was browsing through Hot Topic in the jewelry section and they were having buy one, get one 30% off or something like that. I'm excited to share them with you because I haven't shopped at Hot Topic in a while. And without further ado, let's get started. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this all with my own money. So let's see, diving into the bag here. The first thing I got was a choker. Now, because I did get these in person, not everything is going to be on their website. So when I can, I will leave links to whatever I got down below. But if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I love celestial things, moon, stars. So this choker was absolutely perfect. And I also really love crystals and I love the white swirls in this purple stone. Now, I don't think this is an actual crystal. I'm pretty sure this is just plastic, but it looks pretty. <laughs> and on their website, it says this is the Sun and Moon Charm Choker for $12.90. Yeah, I'm looking on the website and it says a dangling faux purple crystal. So this is plastic. <laughs> but I also just really love the central charm here, which is the sun and moon intertwined. And that is surrounded by two silver stars on either side as well. This is a really simple, cute choker. And at first I wasn't sure if it would fit me because a lot of the choker and Hot Topic and Spencer's tend to be a little too big for my neck. So I was there with my best friend and she just said, try it on, why not? So I did and it fit me, so that's why I bought it. I'm always afraid to try things on in stores, especially when it comes to like Hot Topic or Spencer's because I feel like they're gonna think I'm stealing it when I just really wanna know if it fits me. But oh, I love this choker so much. It looks so good, it fits me perfectly. I do have it on the tightest snap, but it's just tight enough so it's not choking me. It's very comfortable and it's just a cute, cheap little choker. It is not leather. This is faux leather. And my other favorite thing is that the crystal is in this little silver housing that has stars on it as well. So the whole thing is just very celestial and I love how it looks. And it goes perfectly with my black crystal that I'm wearing today as well. This I did not get from Hot Topic. I think I got this from Shein and it was probably a dollar, two dollars. You gotta love cheap crystals. There are also tiny little purple crystals in the stars as well that are on the actual crystal itself. So I love that detail. Next up is the Death Moth Crystal Best Friends Necklace Set for $10.90. Hot Topic has a lot of really cute best friend necklace sets, but uh, I'm going to be selfish and keep both of these for myself. <laughs> but I love the packaging for this as well. It has a rainbow death's head moth in the middle, which is really cool. And one side it says onyx for strength and the other is amethyst for protection. Now, I don't really put much weight into crystals and spirituality and all that, so I just thought these were pretty. That's the only reason I got them. And again, I love crystals, so I'm just gonna wear these as decoration. But I love how they look, and they are two different chains. The onyx or rainbow slick one is a more gunmetal, and it has the death's head moth on top of the crystal itself. And it's interesting, the back of the crystal is just plain black, and the front looks like it's been dipped in an oil slick. They missed the back when they dipped it. <laughs> and then for the other one, it is the exact same death's head moth pendant, but the chain on this one is silver, and the crystal is a translucent purple. It also looks like they missed the back of this one too, so the back is just a plain purple crystal, and the front has a little bit of a rainbow oil slick effect to it, which is very pretty. I love these. I will definitely be layering both of these. They could also be really fun to take off and use as earrings or as some kind of a headpiece. Just put that right there, and I think that looks really cool. You could also just wrap the chains around your, I almost said neck, wrap the chains around your wrist and use these as bracelets as well. The options are as endless as your creativity. <laughs> but I love them. They're cheap necklace set, but I think they look really cute. Next up, we have probably my favorite purchase out of everything I got. This is the Goth Milk Earrings. <laughs> Sorry, the Goth Milk Skull Earrings on the website for $9.90. And just look how adorable they are. They are little cartons of black milk. They also have purple on there. It says the text goth milk in spooky text on the top. And we also have a few silver skulls and some white milk dripping out of the top. And the top of the earrings are black skulls as well. These are just so adorable. I also love the packaging. It's holographic skulls, but I love these so much. I could not leave them there. I kept going back to them when I was browsing throughout the store. So now I have them and they are home with me forever. They're just really adorable. I would say out of everything I've gotten, these are probably the best quality so far. They are still lightweight though, but 
I just love the design so much. They're adorable. I also don't have that much purple jewelry, so I'm starting to expand my collection in that area. Oh, also worth noting, if you buy stuff on their website, it says buy one, get one 50% off with the jewelry, so probably cheaper to buy these online than in person like I did. Now for the last item that I got, I could not find these on the Hot Topic website, so I guess they're sold out of them. But you guys know, I'm usually a silver girl when it comes to my jewelry. I don't really like gold. But the design of these earrings was just so pretty, I had to get them. And I do wear gold on the rare occasion. But also knowing that these earrings are fairly cheap, I'm sure that the gold will rub off eventually and then they'll be silver, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but these are the Shine Bright Mismatch Sparkle Moon Earrings. Now these are asymmetrical earrings, which I love. I think it looks so cool. So one of them is a dangle earring with a drop in the middle of the crescent moon. And this has beautiful stars all along it with silver sparkling gems. And then it has a star at the top of the crystal in the middle of it. And then the top is a teardrop shape that goes into your ear. And the other one has a star at the top of the crystal. This one also has a dangling teardrop in the middle of the crescent moon. But this has a long gold chain with a star at the bottom. So I just love the design of these. I think they're so beautiful. And they're really fancy. I feel like pairing this with a fancy dress or an evening gown, it would look really nice. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to wear these with or where I'd wear them to. I mean, honestly, I would wear them to the grocery store. But I just thought they were so pretty. And they're sparkly. I love anything shiny. So I had to take them home with me. And of course, they're crescent moons. How could I pass them up? So that is it for my Hot Topic jewelry haul, short and sweet. Let me know down below what your favorite item was. Of course, mine was the goth milk earrings. To be honest with you, I'm filming this before Halloween, so I'm not sure when this video is going to be up on my channel. Uh, so, future self, how was your Halloween? Well, hello there, past me. I'm doing quite well. My Halloween was lovely. Thank you for asking. And I'm currently modeling some eyeshadow and some lipstick. Back to you. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.